Welcome students. Today we are going to understand chapter 18, Building and Bridges. And based on our understanding, we will do the book exercises and question and answer of this chapter. Students, in this chapter we will understand about building a house, making of bricks, people involved in the construction of a house, bridges and their types. Students, let's start. There are a variety of building materials required for the construction of a building and other different types of structures. Some of these materials can be easily obtained from nature, while others are man-made. Some of the commonly used building materials are cement, concrete, bricks, wood, iron, steel, stone, granite, marble, tiles, etc. Students, bricks are the blocks which are used for making walls of any building. These bricks are used for construction since ancient times. These bricks are prepared by two different methods. One is stiff mud process and the other one is soft mud process. Let's understand these two different methods in detail. In stiff mud process, the clay is crushed, powdered and mixed with water to prepare a stiff dough from which air is passed out. This clay dough is then cut into bricks using a brick cutting machine. These bricks are then dried and baked in a brick kiln. A brick kiln is a huge oven with a temperature range of 600 Celsius to 1100 degrees Celsius. In this kiln, oil, coal or cow dung cakes are used as fuel to produce heat. Bricks are baked for almost 36 hours in this kiln. In soft mud process, a soft dough of clay is prepared by using more water. The clay is placed in molds and left to dry. After drying, the molds are removed and the bricks are then put back into the kiln for baking. Students, along with bricks, iron and steel are also used to build a strong framework and provide support to the pillars of a building. Foundation is the most important part of any building as a strong foundation ensures the safety of the entire construction. It is laid with concrete mixture. Students, there are many people involved in the construction of a building. The entire process of construction starts by making the design and blueprint of the buildings. People who design and create blueprints of houses and buildings are called as architects. Architecture is the profession of designing buildings and houses. Before the start of construction, the designs have to be approved by the authorities. Once the design is approved, another set of experts called civil engineers ensure that the construction of the structure is according to the approved design, all the safety norms are being followed and the building is free from all kind of hazards. Other than these, the masons and labourers build the wall, the welders join the metal parts using welding machines, the stone mason lays down the floor, the electrician does all the electrical fittings, lays wiring, puts switches, fans, lights and other appliances, the plumber works on laying down pipes, taps, bathrooms and fittings, the painter paints the interior and exterior of the house. So this is all about the construction of a building. Let's understand what are bridges and their types. Students, Bridges are made for the smooth movement of traffic over a river or for linking to hills or mountains. Some bridges are made only for people to cross over, while others are made for the passage of heavy vehicles. There are some bridges which have railway tracks for trains to cross. Temporary bridges are built for a short period of time, while permanent bridges stay forever. In olden days, the bridges were made of simple logs of wood or wooden planks placed over streams for people and animals to cross over. But with the advancement in technology, nowadays iron and steel bridges with a concrete framework are built which are very strong and durable. Students, constructing a bridge requires a lot of planning, huge pieces of equipments and a large amount of time and money. There are many different types of bridges, but in this chapter, We'll understand about beam bridge, arc bridge, suspension bridge, cantilever bridge and pontoon bridge. 
A beam bridge is a permanent bridge which is made of logs, concrete and steel beams supported by pillars. Flyovers and pedestrian bridges follow this type of design. An arc bridge is shaped like an arc and is supported by the abutments at both ends to support the load of the arc. It is stronger than a beam bridge. A suspension bridge has high towers supporting steel cables from which the roadways hang. The cables supported by the tower are the main cables and the cables joining the main cable to the roadways are called as suspender cables. The famous Lakshman Jula in Rishikesh is an example of suspension bridge. A cantilever bridge has two separate halves that are supported by two beams. There is one more beam that joins the two in the middle. The famous London Bridge is an example of a cantilever bridge. A pontoon bridge, also known as a floating bridge, uses floats and rubber boats to support a continuous deck for pedestrian and vehicle travel. Most pontoon bridges are temporary and can be dismantled after use. Students, these kind of temporary bridges are usually made by armed forces during exercises and war-like situations. So students, in this way the explanation of this chapter is done. Before we move on to the book exercises, I request all my students to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you keep getting the notifications of the upcoming tutorials. Thank you so much children. Let's start with our book exercises. First question, tick the correct option. First part, the oven where the bricks are baked are called a dash. Tandoor, kiln, stove or chulha. So here we will tick option number B, kiln. Second part, dash engineers look after the construction. Mechanical, electrical, civil or computer. So here we will tick option number C, civil. Civil engineers look after the construction. Part 3. He draws the blueprint of a building. Architect, mason, carpenter or designer. So here we will take option number A, architect. Architect is the person who draws the blueprint of a building. Part 4. It is a temporary bridge. Arc, beam, suspension or pontoon. So it is option number D, pontoon. Pontoon bridges are temporary bridges. Part 5. Dash is an example of suspension bridge. Lakshman Jula, foot over bridge, fly over, none of these. So here we will take option number A, Lakshman Jula. Lakshman Jula is an example of suspension bridge. Question number 2. Fill in the blanks. Part 1. Bricks take about dash hours to bake in the kiln. So it is 36 hours. Bricks take about 36 hours to be baked in the kiln. Part 2. Dash bridges can be taken apart after use. So these are pontoon bridges. Pontoon bridges can be taken apart after they are used. They can be easily dismantled. Part 3. Dash soil is used to make bricks. So it is clay soil. Clay soil is used to make bricks. Part 4. Dash bridge is an example of suspension bridge. So it is Lakshman Jula. Lakshman Jula is in Rishikesh and this bridge is an example of a suspension bridge. Part 5. A dash bridge is made of rubber boats. So these are pontoon bridges. Pontoon bridge is made of rubber boats so that they can float on the surface of water. Question number 3. Name the following workers involved in the construction of our houses. Part 1. The one who builds the walls. So it is Mason. Mason is the one who builds the wall. Part 2. The one who does the woodwork. So it is Carpenter. Carpenter does all the woodwork in a house. Part 3. The one who makes electrical fittings. So it is electrician. Part 4. The one who lays the pipes, taps and bathroom fittings. So it is plumber. Part 5. The one who paints the interior and exterior of house. So it is painter. Question number 4. Name the workers who uses the following tools. First, roller and ladder. So these two are used by the painters. So here we will write painter. Second, spanner and pipe cutter. So these are the tools which are used by a plumber. So here we will write plumber. Third, saw and chisel. So these two equipments or you can say these two tools are used by a carpenter. Fourth, drill, pliers 
and screwdrivers. So these tools are used by electricians. So here we will write electrician. Fifth, trowel, plumb bob. So these tools are used by a mason. Question number five, answer the following questions. Question number one, what is a kiln? How is it useful to builders? Answer, a kiln is a huge oven with a temperature range of 600 degrees Celsius to 1100 degrees Celsius in which the clay bricks are baked. These bricks are used for the construction of walls in a building. Question number two, why is the foundation said to be the most important part of a building? Answer, the foundation is the most important part of any building as a strong foundation ensures the safety of the entire construction. It is laid with concrete mixture. Question number three, what will happen if bricks are not baked in a kiln? Answer, if bricks are not baked in a kiln, then they will not be strong enough to take the load of the entire building. Question number four, why are bridges made? Answer, bridges are made for the smooth movement of traffic over a river or for linking two hills or mountains. Some bridges are made only for people to cross over while other bridges are made for heavy vehicles. Many bridges have railway tracks for trains to cross. Question number five, differentiate between a suspension bridge and arc bridge. Answer, a suspension bridge has high towers supporting steel cables from which roadways hang. Whereas an arc bridge is shaped like an arc supported by the abutments at both ends to support the load of the arc. Suspension bridges are designed to be flexible. They will move vertically and laterally like swings to accommodate wind, change in temperature or load. Whereas arc bridges don't move or swing. Next is HOTS. Why is clay and not sand used for making bricks? Can we use loamy soil for making bricks? Answer, bricks are usually made of clay as clay is easier to mold and structure. Sand particles do not stick with each other and so are not suitable for making bricks. Loamy soil is a mixture of sand and clay and so can be used for making bricks. So students, in this way the explanation and the book work of this entire chapter is done. Hope you learned something new in today's class. Do give a thumbs up and don't forget to share this tutorial with your classmates. Let's meet in the next video. Until then stay happy and keep learning.